Drug lords, terrorists and rogue nations were just some of the groups that moved money through HSBC, according to a year-long investigation by the US government. Clients from Saudi Arabia, Syria and Russia used the bank to move billions of dollars from illegal operations around the financial system. Their report alleges that the Mexican affiliate bank transported $7 billion to HSBC in the US, more than any other Mexican bank, but had not considered that to be suspicious. It circumvented US safeguards designed to block transactions involving terrorist drug lords and rogue states. It also provided US dollars and banking services to some banks in Saudi Arabia, despite their links to terrorist financing. The US Senate also said HSBC regularly bypassed restrictions on dealing with Iran, North Korea and other states subject to US sanctions. The, the bank has admitted to having poor money laundering controls and apologised. We deeply regret and apologise for the fact that HSBC did not live up to our own expectations, the expectations of our regulators, our customers, our employees and the general public. HSBC had expected a fine, but not of $1.9 billion, the biggest in banking history. But the bank has avoided any criminal prosecution, which could have stopped HSBC from operating in the US altogether. Analysts say the fine will act as a wake-up call, and not just for banks. This also has significant importance for every single organisation around the world that is doing business through local agents, not just banks, and we've had instances of this in Asia. If your local agents are not complying, one, with local law, and two, potentially with US law, you may be held liable at some point in the future, and that should worry people. HSBC is not the first bank to get on the wrong side of regulators in recent months. The record fine is a warning to others to get their operations in order and quickly. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, London.